When you first get started trading, one of the hardest things to do is to develop your style with strategies and patterns. And so make sure to hit the subscribe button because in today's video, we're going over three nice beginner trading strategies that have worked really well in today's market, plus giving you a few tips and tricks to help you develop your day trading skill set. Okay, so the first strategy on my list today is what I call the fake out fade. It's actually a short pattern and it works really, really well. And so the first thing you really want to look for is you want to look for a downward trending stock, a stock that's trending below the VWAP, and you want it to put in a really obvious high like you can see here. You know, this high up here is super important because that's what you're going to use ultimately as your risk level. Once it gets rejected and comes all the way back down below the VWAP, that shows so much weakness that on the subsequent bounces, that's where you want to short into. And so once it gets rejected and comes all the way below the VWAP, again, putting in a really obvious and self-evident high up there on any subsequent bounces, that's what you're shorting into. And you want to take your profit right around that previous low of the day. And so you essentially just want the stock to follow through and fulfill in this range here where it follows that previous low and it comes back down to test it. And that's where you're going to take profits, if that makes sense. And one of the benefits of these type of trades is that you can use that previous high up there as your risk. It's a really tight risk level and it also gives you a pretty big reward target because you're only risking up to that previous high and you're already so close to that level that your risk is tight, but you want your reward target to be all the way back down to that previous low of the day. And so again, your risk is tight and your reward target is big, giving you solid reward to risk ratios in these type of trades and it works really well. Okay, so the VWAP bounce as well as the conventional breakout flag pattern can be two strategies that beginners can find very, very useful. But when they combine together, specifically talking about a flag style pattern that pulls back and bounces off of the VWAP, especially when you take into account pre-market support, it can just be incredibly profitable for new traders to take advantage of. To set this trade up, what I generally do is I document that pre-market high or that previous day's closing price, and I can either use that level as a risk level or as support for me to plan my entry based off of that. A common thing that I want beginner traders to really understand is finding favorable levels to base your reward and risk off of. And so when you find some nice support off of pre-market that's not too far away from your preferred entry level, then you have a pretty tight risk level or stop out level. And if you do lose in that trade, it's going to be pretty small overall. And so when you adjust your reward target to give a favorable comparison versus your risk, you have a big reward target like that previous high of the day and a tight risk like that previous closing price that we documented in pre-market. And that way your risk is small, but your reward is big. And this is something that beginner traders can really find value in and really need to understand. And so, yeah, the really powerful thing about this strategy is that some traders are looking for the flag style breakout pattern and other traders are looking for the bounce off of the VWAP. And so when you have all of those traders all having a bullish sentiment buying the stock, it just gives you a lot of momentum to go up and ultimately profit for beginners. The last strategy on my list today is just the conventional VWAP bounce. And I think this is a really great strategy for new traders to start understanding what the VWAP actually does. So the VWAP is just an intraday trend indicator. And so if the stock is maintaining above it during that day, it's in an upward trend. And if the stock is maintaining below it during that day, it's in a downward trend. And so the basic premise of this strategy is you're just waiting for the stock to pull back to that purple VWAP line. That's where you're ultimately going to enter this long position. And then you can use the previous intraday chart, look for confirmation to set your risk or stop out level. You can see an example of that here. And so if the stock breaks below that level, you can safely and understandably get out of the trade. And the entire point of this trade is to profit when the stock moves in the upward direction. A lot of the time I'm analyzing how big my risk is and then using that to determine how long I want to hold the trade if it goes in my direction. I can also use that previous high of the day as a really easy reward target. And again, I think this is a really great strategy for new traders to start analyzing risk and reward and understanding how to use the previous chart as confirmation to determine those levels. And so the whole goal is you can profit when the stock moves up. And again, it's just a really easy dip buying trade for new traders to get the hang of. And it's also a pretty decent high percentage play, meaning it works a lot of the time and can be a very profitable trade to add to your trading arsenal as well. 
Just remember, you want the stock to be maintaining a trend before you enter the position. In this case, you want it to be maintaining an upward trend, and that's really crucial for this type of strategy success. Anyways guys, that's it for this one. If you're a new trader and you want to get started for less than $500, you should check out TradeNet packages. They give you $14,000 to trade with once you're approved. There's no PDT rule and you can actually short and in my opinion, it's the cheapest way to day trade with no PDT rule, especially for less than $500. And so if you want to check that out and help support our channel, I'll include a link in the description. Good luck in the markets guys. Be sure to join us every weekday morning starting at 8.15 market time where we day trade these strategies live. So make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Click that like button if you want to help support our channel and good luck in the markets.